Whoa, Katie's making another video about class. What a surprise. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just really like it, okay? Before I start this video, there are a few things I need to say. The first one, um, this is a kind of follow-up video from one that I filmed. It was like midway through when class was airing in the UK. So it's like November. And that was kind of ramble about why I love class. So if you want to go watch that, the link will be in the description. If you want to watch class on the iPlayer, it's linked below as well. I know that it's not difficult for you to just type it into Google, but you know. I'm, I'm nice like that. Spoilers will be in this video. Um, I'm going to be summarising all of the episodes and talking about why I like them, so there will be, like, you know, um, uh, spoilers. So if you're American or you're, and you're, it's like midway through airing over there, um, or you just haven't watched it yet and you'd like to, um, then please be warned that there are spoilers in this video. All the cast's social media will be linked in the description box below. Um, depends how lazy I'm feeling, it'll probably just be Twitter, um, but you should follow them, um, because they're all great. Last thing, I met Greg and Faddy, who play Charlie and Ram, um, back in February at Comic Con, and I made a video about it, so that's also linked below. Thank you very much for sitting through that, you deserve a gold star. So today we're talking about class, um, as I said, the last video I filmed was, like, kind of ramble. I'm actually gonna be going through all the episodes and talking about why I like them, again, warning for spoilers, because there will be some. Episode 1. Uh, for tonight we might die, which I might add, I watched again yesterday, um, and I, I just forgot how much I loved it, oh my god. The first thing I've written here is literally in capital letters, GAY. One of the main reasons I started watching Class was because I got back from my holidays, and I heard about it, and then all my friends were like, oh my god, there's gay characters, oh my god, you need to watch it. Um, so I started watching it, and the first episode was really good. The way they introduced the topic, and like, the fact that Charlie is gay, was very, they didn't make a massive deal out of it, which was the best thing about it, I think. It was just sort of like, oh, he's gay and he's gonna ask me to show you the problem. Like, he didn't even say, I'm gay. So it was like, just kind of like, the way they did it, I was just like, yes, well, well done. There's a lot of pop culture in class, and that's just like a thing that is very relevant to the whole series. A, a lot in episode one when they talk about like, the Bechdel test and stuff, Downton Abbey, which is always good because I love Downton Abbey. It's just very modern and yeah. I like, I like that very much. But also, it's hard to see where the plot is going, which I think is very, it's, it's a good point. They didn't make it really obvious that they were going to become like a big squad. Like, it wasn't like from the beginning they were like, here we are, here is our squad that we will be focusing on. It was just sort of that, the fact that they were, I can't speak. The fact that they were like thrown together, um, was I think really interesting. It was hard to see where the plot was going, it was kind of just like the episode ending and then it was like, okay, cool. What happens now? This is a point for the whole series as well. Um, there are a lot of like really great lines in this. Like the way Patrick has written it is so clever. It's very relatable in terms of like how modern it is, and also like the lines are just like some of them are like really hilarious. I love them. And to say that like the Doctor was in the first episode, and obviously Patrick doesn't write for Doctor Who, but I think he captured like his his character really well, which I, I, I liked very much. Why do I keep doing this? I don't know. I don't know, I'm so sorry. Episode 2, Coach with the Dragon Tattoo. First of all, great name. I need to stop doing that, I'm sorry. This episode is focused on Ram, and you get to see a different side to him, because he's introduced as a sort of idiot, jock, jock type footballer stupid, mean person. Which again, it, it's like you wouldn't expect them all to be thrown together, but the way that they are thrown together um, affects his character a lot and you get to see that in this episode and um, you get to see his like struggles and his like sort of PTSD-esque drama um, and also a lot of relationships develop in this episode again it's it's a lot not just to do with like how great the story is because I really like the story um, but just the fact that it's like them learning this like, sort of new dynamic where they, they wouldn't have initially been really friends like, so it was interesting to see them like bond type thing and yeah it was a really good story as well so yeah interesting episode three night visiting and this one is the one that's just aired in bbc america last night so yeah good there's a lot of information about charlie in this episode which is great because i love charlie and i think you get to see you get to learn a lot about him and the reasoning behind his decisions on rodia in this episode and they have like a discussion about love and stuff um which was hmm it it showed his morals type thing and how it, I think it really sort of alienated him, so to speak, from the rest of them because it really showed how different he was and like how his Rodian morals like don't really fit into this and then like the fact that Mateusz was like so confused. Um, and I, I, I yeah, I really like that. I learned Tanya's backstory, which was really interesting. Like protect Tanya, protect the whole cast, but in this episode protect Tanya because <laughs> she is like 
she's so precious and I was like don't don't be mean to her April and Ram were like supportive best friends in this episode as well which is just like really cute I just I love it literally written in capital letters the squad is so real in this episode and I think that's true because this is like when um the squad, the squad, <laughs> starts to sort of come together and they start to form real friendships. Episode 4, uh, Corona of a Lonely Heart. This is kind of going to be also mixed with episode 5 because they're like two-parter, so yeah. A lot of these apply to like both the episodes. I've just looked literally written for the first point, April, my child, like literally, like my, my child. Obviously we know from like the offset pretty much, like the first episode, that April sharing a heart with the Shadowkin. Um, but it's never really like, because they've been focusing on like um, Ram and Tanya in the first couple of episodes It's sort of been put to the side and these episodes is just like really where you see how much it's affected her as a person Because in the first episode I think it was kind of just like, she was just like, she didn't have a clue what was going on But in this, after some time's passed, you get to sort of appreciate what it's like for her I've also written the set of the Shadowkin world, brackets, what is that called? is so good. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's called. I swear there must be some name for it, but anyway. Yeah, the set was really good and I liked, I liked the Shadow Kim. Yeah, they were, they were really good. Protective boyfriend Ram. Um, yeah, in this episode we see April and Ram's relationship begin to develop after they kiss in episode 3 and it, it brings out another side to Ram in that, you know, you see that he's not this sort of, he's got this exterior which is like mean, horrible, typical footballer. And then you see that he really cares about um, April. I've also written April's mum, Ram's dad. Um, the parents are in this episode. Also, April's dad is in this episode. I, I suddenly just remembered that. Um, again, with the backstory, you learn a lot about April and the way that she acts now and how, how her past has affected that in that, like, you can see how damaged she is from like the fact that she's being like caring for her mum since this like drama accident that there was and like the fact that her dad was in prison and then it's just everything goes wrong for April and I'm like please please protect April in this episode it's it's interesting because of the way that they handle it um I thought it was very realistic and it was just the fact that sort of it was just like I want to protect you, I don't care about all this alien stuff, it's just don't, don't get hurt please. And episode 5, this is like kind of pretty much everything that I said in the last one but I put good story, character development and um, that's it pretty much. So yeah, that applies to like the other ones as well. Episode 6, Detained. This is my favourite episode. So much character development I've put in capital letters and that is, that is a good point. In this one, it the cracks in the squad that I keep talking about start to like break the cracks start to break, I, I don't know it really starts to show like how much the whole ordeal of being involved in this sort of protecting the world type thing has affected them um, because again, they're not the, the squad that you would expect like they're sort of, they're all different people and then they join together because they've been thrown together in this like coincidental thing um, and it really starts to show in this Charlie is so brave, my son, I love him, I love him so much if you don't like Charlie, don't talk to me, he's my bean, I love him, don't Mateusz is a great boyfriend, true Mateusz is so underappreciated, don't talk to me like he is honestly one of the best characters, he is so lovely and when Charlie's been like a complete idiot, he's just so nice I'm just like, <laughs> don't talk to me why do I keep saying don't talk to me, I, I don't know Fabulent relationships and friendships, I say it again everyone falls out in this episode and it really starts to show like how how much they are affected by the drama that's happened episode 7 the metaphysical engine or what miss quill did i put protect miss quill honestly that's true she needs protecting like up until this point she's just kind of like the annoying teacher who gets in the way and it's just kind of like no one cares what you are your pain and then it gets to this episode and it's like my my daughter pregnant quill yeah, sorry for the massive spoiler, but like, I think that shows a different side to her as well. Yeah, it really comes to light that she um, has this sort of mechanism in her head of like, um, if I'm gonna die, I die well. So that's good. Rodia set, the Rodia set is so beautiful, like the colours are just amazing. I love the way they do alien worlds in this, like the alien worlds are just amazing. And that is pretty much all I have to say on episode 7. Just, yeah, great quill, great, love you. Episode 8, um, what's it called? The Lost. Episode 8, The Lost. Um, this is the big one. Um, so get ready for my emotions. First point, do you want to punch me? Literally. What happened to our pacifist pole? Matej, a good boyfriend. True. Like, they, he has this whole thing where he's like against um, guns and stuff and Charlie, like, in episode 3 was like, I don't like knives. And in this one it's just sort of like, 
they've changed so much, my children. Mateusz is just, I mean, amazing boyfriend, it's just great. I've put Protect Mateusz 2K16, 16, 17. Honestly, he is just, I, I can't emphasize how much I adore him. He's just such a bean. April deserved better, true. April deserved a lot better. The ending ruined me, yes. True. This is an interesting point. You really see how much the characters have changed. Tanya has this line where she says like, I was 14 when I started this year, but I am 100 years old now. And Ram's like reaction to April's death and the fact that he's just like, he loves her so much. And I, I said earlier that like, in episode four and five, it's like, it really comes to light how much he really loves her and how much he's changed. And he's got this like exterior and it's different. Um, just the character development in this is just like, so good. It makes me cry and amazing acting greg you're great if you're watching this you know i love you <laughs> um but you're great everyone did so well in this especially greg like honestly charlie's acting in this charlie just ruined me <laughs> like every time i watch that episode i'm just like please no i hate it but i love it as well that's the thing i just love it patrick you did you did good general notes on the series i loved it it's great um the cast are all angels and that is all i have to say yay yeah, thank you for watching. Watch class. Class is great. Um, all the links that I mentioned are below. And yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye!